Um, he's also much more air uh, air prone than grounded, and it isn't the easiest for the Shotos to kind of approach an aerial target. So it is it is interesting, but at the same time, Yoshi, although he does have kill power and stuff, he may not kill the Shoto in time, and the Shoto might be at very high rage. So it's going to be a, a dance in evasion of who is going to avoid dying. <laughs> It's not so much damage as much as it is evasion. So let's go and see what's going to happen here. Game one, where do we go? Small battlefield. I don't know. I, I like... Oh, what do you know? It is small battlefield. I like... I honestly like when people pick this stage first because we don't play on this stage enough. Now, I don't know how much Jig has played uh, Ace as of late. Um... But, I mean, we're seeing here, Jigs does have a mentality of sometimes being super patient. And he does that when he's really trying to feel his opponent out. And we're seeing that right now. Yeah, to answer your earlier point, um, I think the last time he and Ace played was very early in the, the pandemic. So somewhere around, like, May, June kind of time. Um, they haven't played, like, they haven't played friendlies anytime soon, recent, or? Not that I know of. Okay. Like, I could ask at some point, but that'd be a moot point once this set's done. I yeah. think what's important is that this is certainly not the first Shoto that uh, Captain Jiggly has played against, and I think he recognizes the importance of his grab game, the importance of egg, and the importance of his double jump. Yes, very much so, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. And Kid Cudi understands the point of uh, Shoryuken. Oh man! He jumped into the shore, you can. That's so unfortunate. They really do be like that sometimes, though. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna do a lot of damage. There sends him at a horrendous angle, and I'm waiting for like a down B out of Yoshi, but he also knows that if he does it, he could just get shuried. So yeah, absolutely. What he's got to do is like up. Oh, there it is. Or something. Like, if he's holding shield, there's, there's absolutely... I don't actually know the frame data of Yoshi, so I don't know how quick up smash is, but, like... Up smash is fast like, enough. It's fast enough out of shield. There's the neutral are going to send him off. That just and that is going to do it. That is a tech that could have been teched, but... So fast, so close to the side there. Not a lot of time. Good stuff. He you, you had to go for something that wasn't there. As soon as he went for something that wasn't there, boom. It dead. worked out. So what I want to see more out of Jigs here, I mean, because I, I played a little bit of Yoshi in the beginning of this game, and Yoshi's got, like, jab reset setups at a, almost every percent. It's kind of wild. So, like, down tilt will set into those things. Jump out and air will set into those things. And if you do it correctly, you can literally travel your opponent across the stage. Oh my god, Jigs avoids another Shoryu. I, you're correct about the jab resets, but the thing is, is that he's got to set them up. He's not actually doing enough when he gets in in order to be able to set them up in the first place. Oh, very so, smart going for the jab there. There's the forward smash, gonna send him out. Pop goes the weasel, doesn't need the spike. That was a perfect example of what Yoshi can do off stage, and now we have Captain Jiggly up up a stock right now. So let's see how much damage he can get before uh, he gets kind of, you know, Shoryu to death. Oh man, and that's what I mean, chasing across the stage. But there is the Shoryu gonna come out. <laughs> he can do 51 damage before he gets Shoryu to death. Not even caring to stay on the Angel platform at all. He goes for immediate aggression, which is good, because if he gets up tilted while he's still flashing, he doesn't get hurt. Really? You can be as sarcastic as you want, but I'm not trying to jump. No, I'm, I'm, I'm try I'm sorry. It, you are completely correct. <laughs> I know. Not everything I have to say is super profound. You know, sometimes it's hey, if you go off the angel platform faster, you're not. Gonna oh! get hit you. Yeah, he's he doesn't have much. Oh man, he makes it back. I was gonna say that would have been the perfect situation. Got to get out of that corner. If he SD'd, I was gonna be so upset. Oh no, that would have been unfortunate. Right, Tries to so go for the. Right now. Oh he god. He can't hold shield for a little bit longer. He's got oh god. But oh god. Ash attack, or if he gets a back air, he should be in good space. Oh man, tries to go for the up smash. Not gonna do it. Simpuka gonna send off to the side, and this is scary because Jigs knows he just needs like one or two really good hits, but but it, that doesn't but matter. He needs to act in and get those hits. He's already taken sixty five percent. All. Doesn't chase it. That would have been an up air for sure. Is that enough? That might no, it's not. 
Holding their breath here. Got to get off this ledge. Oh, yep. man. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have gone in front of him like that. Even so, he like, have tried to drift back. I feel like he could have maybe gotten out of the Shuryu there. He was really close to it, but you would have to SDI that. Unfortunate to Jigs. He came into that last stock looking really good. But King Cuddy going to take game one here. All right, then. So, Jigs, I really think a Sage counter pick is going to work well for him here. Because that was... He was playing it correctly. He definitely knows what he needs to do to take out this Shoto. So... I'm not 100% sure. Like... There might be some benefit to get out of a Sage change, but at the same time, that was extraordinarily close. It was, like and that's why I think the Sage is going to be the pendulum that he needs. Like, if, if he goes to Kalos, I feel like that could work out rather well for him, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I mean, if Kid Cudi doesn't ban Kalos. Right. I mean, he's probably banning Town and Vlylat? I, I don't know what he's going to ban, per se. Yeah. In this matchup, it would be you Town, got a Ninja? and Greninja. Apparently. Okay. Now, this is a first out of Jigs. We have seen Jigs play, like, Isabel and some things like that, which he does have one. I have yet to see a grin out of him. So, let's get into it here. Rocking more Yoshi music. I think what's important about the Greninja matchup is that Greninja does like having those grab combos. And sure, Yukin is a pretty decent projectile. So, I can understand the switch, but at the same time, I don't think the switch was needed. He did just fine with Yoshi. He's so, I just want to clarify. You you mean uh, Shuriken, not... not um... What did I say? I, I thought you said uh, sure you can. <laughs> oh, well, if I did, I apologize. I sure <laughs> Nonetheless, right now, 87 got to make his way back. And I, I played a little bit of Grin when I was fighting Goldeneye to see if this was a character I wanted to play more of. His his combos are very specific. You have to you have to find your way in at a very precise space. And I don't know if that's going to work well in this matchup, so we'll find out. I mean, it becomes a problem then as playing two characters with, with precision, though I think one has a little more... Yeah, Yoshi's got a bit more flexibility. Like that, first stock coming out here. Gonna get the jab reset and like this. So much damage. Yeah, the rapid jab coming out, kind of saving his behind a little bit. And another sure you just gonna take him to the sky. Only taking forty four percent here, looking really strong. Yeah, I don't think this matchup change is good. I don't think this is a good stage pick for for Captain Jiggly. I think that there were just better options sticking with Yoshi, and maybe he thought he could get something with the matchup switch, but I'm not seeing it at all. Yeah, it is. There's there's a lot that's happening here, but let's see what he can do. I mean, I don't think he would have changed characters had he not thought of something coming out here, but. Yeah, this is proven to be... Oh, man, he kicks him out of the Shadow Sneak, and is this it? No, it is not. No, not yet. Oh, oh my god. Me. That focus scared me. <laughs> oh, and that's sure you're just going to take him off the top, and like that. There we go. 2-0 coming out to Kid Cuddy right now. 